Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm out here with my Benjamin Maximus chambered in 22 caliber. It is a little breezy out here today, but I do have a target that's sitting out there in the middle of the road about, let's see if you guys can see it. It's at 253 yards, okay? There's a steel plate with the golf ball on there. Um, I can't really see it on the screen because the sun's right in my face. Anyhow, brought all my usual stuff, pallets, um, slugs, different grains, 31, 21 grain, 24 grain, 20 grain, 0 0.2, and these are in 217s, 5s. But the ones that uh, I've been using more is these H&N. These are really good, actually. And I've used these uh, 24 grains. They're a little heavier. Now, I tried the pallet. There's no way it makes it out there. It's way too far. I see it drop, I don't know, maybe about 50 feet before it hits the target. So uh, I have one in the chamber. Chamber this bad boy up. And here we go. So I almost maxed out my scope in order to hit this uh, target way out there. 253 yards. Here we go. Oh, hit the... Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, I hit the plate. And the golf ball fell off. All right, let's, uh, all right, we're going for a walk, guys. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is, right? Okay, so just bear with me. It is breezy out here. I've been, uh, I've been trying to get this, uh, this long distance shot just for, uh, for myself. I know I could do it. It's just going to take me a minute. And, uh, Figured, uh, what better else to do this afternoon than do a little planking and uh, bring out my Benjamin Maximus. Now, I've had modified it. I changed the trigger. I added a uh, power adjuster on the back. I have a 24, let's see, no, excuse me. It's a six by 24 by 50 scope with the sunshade. Um, open up the uh, port on there and uh, I've tested it out before it would give me a thousand fifteen a thousand fifty no excuse me a thousand fifteen to a thousand twenty five feet per second with a 14.3 pallet now when I switch over to slugs it drops it down to about 950 uh depending on what weight i'm using 900 which is perfect it's a really good speed for some of these pellets now those nsa's uh those are too i don't know why they're not chambering in, inside the chamber they kind of a little too tight but those 218s they chamber up nicely so i don't know i don't understand oh you can see the bushes so you guys can tell it is a little breezy out here uh I figure out bring out my uh, my Benjamin out today. Where's the plate at? Oh, there it is, right there, coming up to it. So one of my viewers told me I should put a flag out here uh, so I can see it better, or you guys can see it on the screen a little bit better. And that's a great idea. I just haven't had time to do it. And uh, here we go. Let's see where I hit this thing. Well, there's a golf ball right here. Let me see. Oh, I don't know if you guys could tell. Here's the shot right there. And here's my exploding golf ball. Sits right on there, okay? Just like that. So I should have taped it. But as you guys can see, there's my red buggy. So I'm going to continue uh, practicing on this. Hopefully I get it. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Goodbye.